All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn the date object by building a date formatter. Step 19. All right. So the reverse method is used to reverse an array in place. For example, we've got const array is an array with one, two, three, four, five in it. And then when we, pardon me, and then when we do array.reverse uh, and do a console.log in the array, it's gonna be five, four, three, two, one, right? So let's go check that out over here on MDM just to get a little more deep onto it. So the reverse method of array in instances, pardon me, reverses an array in place and returns the reference to the same array the first array element now becoming the last and the last becoming the first. Uh, in other words, element the elements order in the array will be turned toward the direction opposite to that previously stated. So yeah, it just reverses it. Uh, to reverse the elements in an array without mutating the original array, we can use this to reverse method, right? And this is new uh, since 2023. Uh, and we might go over this later, I don't know, but uh, this one is, a method of array, the two reversed method of array instances is the copying counterpart of the reverse method. It returns a new array with the elements in reversed order, right? So if we come over here, uh, and we come back to here, we can see that we've got array one equals one, two, three, like this. And when we reverse it, uh, when we make a new variable and reverse it, uh, we can see reverse now equals three, two, one, but it also changes array one. So array one, when we come over here and, and do a console.log on array one, we can see it's also three, two, one, right? While on this one here, it would make a copy, although there's no example thing. Anyway, so let's come back over here. So now we're going to chain the reverse method to the end of the split method, right? So also another thing we're uh, seeing, but they're not really talking about, uh, whenever we have a lot of uh, chained methods, like if they're, like if we have a uh, we're going to risk making them go off the screen or something to where it's going to make it a lot less readable. What we can do is we can bring the, uh, the, pardon me, we can bring the methods down under the uh, variable that we're putting the methods on like this. So like originally it was, hold on. Originally it was like this, but we can bring it down like that. Right. And then we'll bring this one down like this and we'll say dot reverse. And then we'll just have it like that. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 20. And we'll see you next time.